little bit of shopping. Pray everybody is having a good day so far. I go over here, pick up a few items. I'm taking y'all with me. I tell you, man, <laughs> when you go in the grocery store with your camera talking to your phone and stuff, people look at you crazy. But later for that, I'm taking my YouTube family. I'm taking our YouTube family with me. Y'all coming with me. If, if I can't, y'all can't go in the grocery store. I ain't going. Nah, let me stop lying. I'll leave y'all in a minute. We'll leave y'all in a, in a minute, a New York minute. So anyway, I'm just thankful that a lot of y'all enjoying the channel. Like, it's encouraging that some people is giving y'all hope. Am I going the right way? Yeah. It's giving y'all hope. telling you there's good there's good men of God out there I know some now if y'all need a hookup I know a few single brothers I don't know a bunch of them y'all need a hookup let me know y'all y'all in the Carolinas set you up but but we got to record the whole thing we're gonna record the initial setup the first conversation and the first date <laughs> Y'all yeah, probably think I'm playing. I'm dead serious. I'm talking to y'all, but I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going the right way. Yeah. Yeah. So if you in the Carolinas, matter of fact, you ain't got to be in the Carolinas. Georgia, you in Florida, if you in Virginia, I'm gonna set you up. You single, you say, you desire a husband. Now some women be talking about like, I don't need no man, I don't want no man. I'd rather just be me and God. Cut out that foolishness. Cut out that foolishness. Because it should be in you to desire a man. Come on. And it's not about it's not about sex. Although you have needs too. It's not about sex, but come on, who don't want somebody to do life with? Enjoy life with. I'm serious. Whenever I think about a wife, even over the years. Like, when I think about a wife, I always thought, like, somebody to travel with, somebody to somebody to go places with. But now, now that I'm saved, even better, somebody to do ministry with, somebody to read with, somebody to pray with. Now, I ain't gonna tell you, every time, every time I read the Bible, I wanna read the Bible with somebody, because I wanna spend time with God alone. We can spend time with God together. There's times where I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna wanna spend time with God alone. You know, There's gonna be times where I wanna pray alone. Every relationship, every relationship different. But I don't think you'll find a couple that all their reading and all their praying is done together. I don't know if that's realistic. But I done got off topic, and this is a beautiful house. I will show it to y'all, but it might knock me off track. But anyway, everybody should desire a man. I'm saying, especially if you're young. I mean, there's people in their 60s that desire a man. Somebody to do life with, somebody to enjoy. Jesus way. This the Bible says two are better than one, especially somebody that's that's like-minded. That want God too. I've been in a let me tell you something. I've dated somebody that told me, and I don't know why I stayed. You know, once you once you start liking somebody, 
it, it's kind of hard to break away. I, don't, I wasn't in love. I wasn't in love. But she told me, I talk about the Lord too much. And let me tell you this. That's how you know a person's passion. You ever want to know a person's passion? Listen to what they talk about. You'll find out what they're passionate about. I don't care if it's the quietest person in the world. The quietest person in the world going to stay mute and say nothing until you get on their topic. Let's just say photography. The quietest person in the world loves photography. You might talk about sports. You might talk about the news. And they might not say nothing. But when you talk about photography, that mouth gonna open. And they gonna, and they gonna, they gonna talk your head off about photography. Because that's what they're passionate about. They don't have to figure out what to say because it's in them. You know? People talk about, people mostly talk about what they're passionate about. Now, somebody talk about God, somebody gossiping all the time that they're passionate about gossiping. Let me go. They're passionate about gossiping. But anyway, my mother didn't get married until she was in her 60s. So, I don't know how old, I don't know y'all age, but it ain't too late. It ain't too late. There's women in their 50s right now that desire a husband. And there's good men out there. Everybody ain't in the bed. Everybody ain't fornicating. Everybody ain't got a woman here and there. Come on. There's some real men of God out there that love God with their whole heart. Some prayer men that desire a godly woman. Now let me get back to what I was saying. It, it, it's, it's important to have somebody that's like-minded. Now she told me I talked about God too much. Who gonna tell you that but the devil? But I'm gonna be honest with you, and I, and I stayed. And I felt like it kind of put like handcuffs on me. It limited me. And, and I stayed in that. And matter of fact, when you see our video, how we met, is this the grocery store? When you see our video, how we met, I never named the girl. I never said the girl name or nothing. But this is what I'm talking about in the video. That's what I'm talking about in the video, how we met. Where do I get in that? <laughs> getting over here. It's important to have somebody like-minded. Because if you don't have nobody, if you don't have somebody that's like-minded, they're going to try to block everything you do for God in subtle ways. In subtle ways. You talking about God too much. You praying too much. You reading too much. And then it's going to become a situation where you got to make a choice. I remember this woman prayed at our church one time. Prayed. She preached at our church one time. And she said her husband told her to choose between God and him. And she said it was painful and it hurt. But she chose God. Amen. And stuff like that, I know it hurt at the time. I've never been through that, but you know it gotta hurt at the time. But later on, you'll be so happy with your decision. Because people can only take you so far. I'd rather be with my creator than to be with the creation. So anyway, I'm just babbling. We can right go inside food line. Make sure I got my list. I'm 
just babbling today. We ain't talking about nothing special. Ladies, you need somebody like-minded. Ladies, another thing, stop trying to date people. Stop trying to date people and then try and then, and put it in your mind, will I work with them and get them saved later? The devil is a liar. That's a lie from the pits of hell. The devil wants you to believe that you're going to be able to do that. And in some situations that may have happened, but you are playing with fire. If God wants you saved, he wants your spouse saved as well. God don't want you saved and your spouse be left out. Your future spouse be left out. Come on. And get it out your head too. Now I'm just going on and on rambling. Get out your head too that we're all God's children. We are not all God's children. We're all God's creation. But when you give your life to Christ, the Bible says we adopted. Then are you the sons of God? We adopted. So we've been adopted, those who gave our life to Christ, and how are we all God's children? And wouldn't God want you, his daughter, with his one of his sons? And the Bible calls the people that are not saved the children of disobedience. Why would God want you with a child of disobedience? Anyway, let's go in here. I ain't trying to be too preachy. Matter of fact, I'm not trying to be preachy. Ladies, let them be saved when you meet them. Stop trying to stop trying to be a superhero. <laughs> let God save them. Finally, I am out of the grocery store. Out of food line. The traffic is hectic today. But today is a good day. But anyway, back to relationships. I thank God that I found my good thing. I found her. And if you watch my video, he'll find you. I found her on her route. say I want somebody I got I got things and I got um, a lot of things in common with but I never really felt like that maybe I'm just different but I never really felt like that I felt like I'm not I wasn't looking for another me I'm not I wasn't looking for the Tron of uh, a female version of Tron hold on I look like this need to be wiped off for a female version of Tron. You know? I wanted somebody different to introduce me to new things. And she'll tell you herself, we, we help each other. Like, pfft. you wouldn't believe how much we help each other. We work, we work well together. Things just flow. I'm not trying to force nothing, that's not there. Things just flow. And I'm not no relationship guru. I'm not no relationship expert. All I can tell you is see God. See God. He'll give you a sign. God gonna show you something. If you put that in God's hands, like Lord, is this the one? God is gonna show you something. He's not gonna leave you hanging because you depended on him. Like God, if this is not you, Lord, wreck this thing. <laughs> Tell him. Lord, if this ain't you, destroy it. Let us walk away from each other now. 
for somebody to get hurt. And God will wreck that relationship. I can't tell you, I, I, I've said that a couple of times. I said that a couple of times. And God is good. And, I, and I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm talking to y'all, but I'm at the same time trying to watch my words and be careful what I say to y'all. Because I don't want to go into... I really don't want to go into something I'm, that I already got coming out. Like, in this month's issue, the September issue, I'm talking about, I'm talking about how we met. That's not what the whole issue is about, but that's not what the whole interview is about, but that's what I'm talking about, and that's what I'm asked in the interview, how we met. So I'm trying not to go into certain things. And, and I'm not second guessing like God is this the one. Come on, I'm 100% sure. I'm going on record telling you I'm 100% sure. This is my wife. I'm 100% sure. I'm not like, God, you sure? Lord, is this you? If this you, make it rain at. 302 today. You know, <laughs> acts of God crazy stuff. And then when it don't rain at 302, come on. This her. Now, was I wrong in the past? Yeah, I was wrong in the past. But when you read my interview and when you see the video, or how we met, but we both talking and telling our signs, like, you understand then why I'm 100% sure. Like, it's not because everything's just lining up. It's lining up. Let me tell you, like a YouTube channel in the past, I would have never done a YouTube channel with nobody I dated. YouTube channel, I'd be like, no, nah, let's get married first. <laughs> we'll put a channel out there. And I ain't sure if we're gonna make it next week. It's crazy. I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done it. And like prophetess, she could tell you like, there's just certain things I just didn't want to do, like find myself doing now like if you've seen the video he'll find you stuff like that I ain't want to do I ain't want to I ain't want to talk about relationships and stuff come on I'm not no relationship expert but it's, it's stuff that we all been through in relationships that that can help other people like some people feel like now I've never been married but some people feel like a person that's been divorced can't give them advice on marriage why they can't Come on, they could tell you what went, what went wrong, where they went wrong. They could tell you, don't make the same mistake that I made. They could tell you that and help you. And some people feel like because you ain't never been married, you can never give them married, marriage advice. I can give them wisdom, though. Wisdom from the Holy Ghost. Paul, Paul wasn't married. And who wrote about marriage in the New Testament? Paul. But anyway. And I hear people say, no, I hear people say marriage is work. I know it's work. I'm willing to put in the work. Because come on. There's a lot of things I want to do in life. A lot of things I want to accomplish in life. A lot of places I want to go in life. And I don't want to go alone. I don't want to do those things alone. And I ain't talking about settling for somebody because you don't want to be alone. I ain't, that ain't what I'm talking That's crazy. And I think we might have... Well, I ain't going to say we all done that. I say most of us have done that. Because some of y'all probably ain't never done that. Ain't never settled for nobody. But uh, you settle for somebody because they there. And if you ever heard me talk about settling, I always, I always say that settling don't mean that the man or the woman is not a good person, don't mean they're not good looking, don't mean they don't have it going on in life. But it just means that 
I'm looking for something else. But I'm dating you because you're here, you're present. That's what settling means to me. It don't mean nothing against the other person. Let me tell you something. If somebody was to tell me they settled for me in the past, that wouldn't offend me one bit. Because we settled for each other. <laughs> that, wouldn't us, that wouldn't offend me one bit. Like, they say, I settled for Tron. You sure did. And Tron settled for you too. That wouldn't offend me. We settled. Like people that I dated in the past that's happy now and, and married now, I'm happy, I'm happy for them. Everybody deserves love. And let me tell you, I don't care who it is. Like, they may not have been the right person for you, but they're right for somebody. We may not have worked because there was somebody out there better for you than Tron Moses. You perfect for somebody. Yeah. So be a good thing. Be a good thing. Let me tell you what men like. Men like women that can cook. Now, I like to cook myself too. So Prophet, it ain't like she got to cook. She gonna have to cook all the time. I love to cook myself too. Men like a woman that are clean. I, I, I don't like gossipers. You know, she on the phone just in every... That's one thing I always thought about, like, with far as a wife. I don't want no wife or after church on Sunday, like, she getting on the phone talking about everybody's business and stuff, and, and she can't hold water, and nobody can tell her anything because she's sharing it with everybody. I don't want a wife like that. Never wanted a wife like that. Well, I ain't gonna say what men like. I don't know what other men like. And and, and, I, and another thing, I never like a loud woman. She just loud. Oh Lord, I, I can't stand a loud woman. She loud. She want everybody to hear what she's saying, so she talk loud. You know. Don't want nobody like that. She in everybody business. She need to mind her own business. Don't, don't want no nosy woman. She know everybody business in the church. Anyway, I can't say what other men like. I just know what, just know what I like. Like some people will say, you know, when they t when you ask them they, they, what they want in a person, they want somebody to say, I want somebody that loved the Lord. Well, I always felt like if you say that you love the Lord, okay, then that goes without saying. Because sinners out there ain't looking, they ain't gonna tell you, well, I want somebody that's a sinner. I want somebody that sins regularly, fornicates and drinks. They ain't gonna tell you that. They just tell you what they want. Somebody that's saved and loved the Lord, that goes without saying. I don't even have to add that in the list. Because it can't be nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? So anyway, somebody that could cook, somebody with a sense of humor, like, okay, we love the Lord, we pray, we, we read our word, we do church stuff, but come on, be able to, to laugh too, come on, be able to laugh too and, and enjoy life and, and have a good time, like, we can't be no stuff shirts now, like. I met people that don't know how to laugh. You know, when I first gave my life to the Lord, and then I, and then I started going to church, and I started hanging around my pastor, 
And he told me more than one time. I don't know if I was being too much. You know how somebody just gets saved. They're excited about it. And they, they just a little extra. I might have been like that. I'm not sure. But he said to me more than one time. He said, just be yourself, son. Just be yourself. And so, that's what I do. I just be myself. Anyway, people, we was just talking today. We was just having conversation like family do. You and I. Because I want y'all to be happy. Some of y'all married, some of y'all happy. You know, some of y'all single, y'all. Well, y'all still happy single, but. I want my sisters, because mostly women watch our channel. I can't deny that. I look at the analytics, and it's like 15% men watch the channel. So I guess when I just talk, I just address women. That's why, because 15% men watch the channel. Just want my sisters to be happy. Come on. Don't settle. Don't settle, ladies, just because you want a husband. Nah, don't settle. You better than that. You better than that. You can't give yourself to everybody. Everybody don't deserve you. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm getting ready to go, but I couldn't have been with just any woman. I could only be with a, a certain type of woman because I'm the type that love to do flowers, to do little things just because. And there are certain women that don't appreciate flowers. Not that they're mean or nothing, but flowers just ain't their thing. And I love doing stuff like that. I love seeing the smile on her face when I when I give her flowers. Like, I love that or do something little just, just because. Let her know that I was I was thinking of her. Little stuff like that. Let her know, I appreciate you. I appreciate her. I appreciate the prayers. I appreciate all the encouragement. I appreciate all the help on this journey. And we do that for each other. One person is not helping the other. One person is not praying for the other. One person is not encouraging the other. It's teamwork. It's Team Moses. So anyway, with that said, because I, I could sit here and go on and on all day, but I ain't about to do that. Because I could sit here and talk about me and prophetess all day, but why would I sit and talk about me and her all day when I can go spend time with her? Anyway, I pray y'all have a wonderful day. I'm going to enjoy my day. I'm going to get some work in. I'm going to get some praying in. I'm going to get some study time in my word. Yeah. That's my plans. So I pray y'all have a blessed day. Have a wonderful day. Love. Laugh. Enjoy life. Being saved don't mean you can't have fun. I ain't talking about nothing crazy, man. I ain't talking about... You shouldn't be nowhere making it rain. <laughs> Get a husband, you make it rain. If you already married, go ahead and make it rain. But anyway, that's my time, y'all. I'm out. Deuces.